So, um, sorry, that's perfect, just enough time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, previously, when we had an angle like this and we evaluated, we said that, well, if we can't evaluate for it on the unit circle and we need to find the exact value, then we could always look at that as the sum or difference of two angles. Correct? Now, this, ex this is an example where you could use the sum or difference because obviously you can see it's the difference of 45 and 30. Some angles, though, we're not going to be able to do the sum or the difference. <clears throat> we're not going to be able to do the sum or the difference for, so we're going to want to use the double angle. Some of them you can do either or, but just look at the directions. A lot of times the directions are going to say use the double angle formula. So that means that's how the answer is going to be written because it's a little bit different than uh, the sum and difference formula, or at least how the answer is going to come out. It's going to be the same answer, but written in a different format. So anyways, we can use the double angle formula, as long as the double angle is an angle that, we're, uh, that we can evaluate for. So the double angle formula of cosine is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 plus cosine of u all over 2. I, I'm sorry, I'm using the half angle formula. So what I'm saying is u over 2 is equal to 15 degrees. If u over 2, do you guys see how u over 2 is equal to 15, right? You guys see that? If u over 2 is equal to 15, can we figure out then what to plug in for u? 30, right? Wait, so it will tell us when to use the half angle formula? Um, well, for your homework, that's what you're going to do, yes. It's going to say use the half angle formulas, right? On a test, it will probably say, yes, use the half angle formulas to evaluate to find the exact answer. So the next thing is, if you guys notice here, this is a plus or minus, right? When do you know if it's plus or when do you know when it's minus? Well, what you want to do is look at your angle. The cosine of u over v, when you're using your um, half angle, which quadrant is this in? First quadrant. So is cosine going to be positive or negative in the first quadrant? Positive. Positive. OK, so we're not really actually doing the plus or minus. We're actually just doing the positive. OK? So now what we're simply going to do is take the u and plug them in for u. OK? So therefore. We're simply going to rewrite this as 1 plus the cosine of 30 degrees all over 2. So after you get, after you figure out what u is, you rewrite it as, you just plug it in and uh, it just you just rewrite it's u as whoever it is. Did you get into testing that meeting has been rescheduled for Monday, January 25th? Use 30 degrees. Students, are you currently failing your first semester? No problem. We are here to help. If you need to recover the first half of the course you may be failing, please see your guidance counselor during your lunch time or send them an email as soon as possible. We want to help you get back on the right track. I still have plenty of time, ladies and gentlemen. I still have plenty of time. So the cosine of 30 degrees you guys should be familiar with is 1 half. Now, what I'm going to want to do is get rid of my fraction. So I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2. Because what happens is, when you multiply by 2 over 1 times 1 half, what happens? The 2 in the denominator divides out, right? So therefore, I'm going to be left with 2, or basically that will be 2 plus 1 over 4. Then the next thing is. Um, now, what we can basically do is simplify that. Uh, that's going to be 3. Can you take the, you can break that apart into the square root of 3 over the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is? No, wait a minute. What the heck happened? What went wrong? Wait, did you, wait, um, did you, I thought you just multiply by 2 up here and get rid of that. No, you have to multiply by 2 over 2. Because you can't, you can't, you you got to keep equivalent fractions. You just can't multiply by one number. No, something's wrong. Cosine thirty degrees is square root of three over two. Thank you. 
Thank you. I was like, what the heck is wrong? You still do the same thing. Multiply by 2 over 2. I'm sorry. Thank you. So, I'm sorry. It is cosine. I'm totally sorry. So you still multiply by 2 over 2. Cosine of 30 degrees, thank you, Dane, is going to be square root of 3 over 2. So therefore, you have 1 plus... Now, you simplified this. Your final answer is going to be the square root of 1 plus the square root of 3 over 2. Now, I'll turn off my recording since I've had.